Yeah, so I think the Click MS study is a very important real world study in the use of cladribine tablets in patients with multiple sclerosis who transition from injectable therapies. And I think the motivation comes from multiple uh, factors. One is cladribine poses a very uh, interesting mechanism of action in which the medication itself um, provides clinical efficacy of the high level clinical efficacy in patients with multiple sclerosis with a very unique um, schedule of administration. So the medication is given orally uh, based on weight. So it's one of the factors that makes this uh, very attractive from a patient personalized medicine standpoint. And, and depending on their weight, patients receive anywhere between five to 10 tablets per cycle for two years. And, and then a, a no more treatment for up to four years. Uh, so it's an important question to ask uh, when patients are failing standard of care therapies, in this case injectable therapies, what is the role of highly effective therapies like cladribine in this context? So beyond the, what we discussed before, the weight-based administration, which makes it very interesting and, and personalized, I think the fact that offers high efficacy in a schedule that is uh, very patient friendly, if you wish. It's only given a month one and month two in the first year and a similar schedule on year two. And then the clinical efficacy remains the same for year three and four. So patients on average, they only take anywhere between you know, 10 to 20 pills per year in the first two years and then no more treatments. Uh, for year three and four, and they still sustain a clinical efficacy that is comparable to currently approved highly effective therapies. So the, so the study is still open for enrollment. Uh, we are hoping to complete the study in which we will have 200 patients, um, and then we will be presenting data on demographics in the next uh, ECTRIMS meeting in DC in September. Um, so it's, it's exciting because it's a, it's a real world uh, experience in which we will allow uh, primary investigators to continue their standard of care practices in multiple sclerosis and still within the uh, confinements of a clinical study. The, the landscape of MS therapies, fortunately, is crowded. So we have so many wonderful options. Uh, so it becomes difficult to truly choose between different options for a given patient. I think cladribine is unique in not only in its mechanism of action, but also in the fact that it truly is an immune reconstitution therapy, right? So by affecting both T and B cell compartments, we are truly resetting the immune system, not only in terms of numbers, but perhaps in terms of function as well. Uh, so it, it, it does allow for a novel mechanism of action um, it's also a very attractive uh, schedule of administration that becomes a great option for many patients, anywhere from you know, early multiple sclerosis to in the later stages of the disease where perhaps we are thinking about you know, immune senescence and perhaps uh, wondering if patients should continue or no on, on disease-modifying therapies, this is a great option for those patients as well. We, we do have the advantage of having so many patient years of exposure to the medication, also having uh, the, the drug being approved in Europe for two years prior to being approved in the U.S., so we do have the benefit of the experience from uh, clinical studies as well as real world in other places, which is also very unique in these circumstances. Um, so it's a matter of understanding the mechanism of action, understanding what will be the right patient for this intervention, and also becoming more comfortable with the administration of cladribine.